Waterfowl coming to the natural state this winter will have nearly 12,000 additional acres of wetland to rest their weary wings. It's all part of the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission's new conservation incentive programs. The AGFC's Wetland Habitat Management and Winter Flooded Rice Fields programs enlist the help of private landowners to provide more suitable habitats for waterfowl. 90% of Arkansas is, is privately owned. Uh, and the Arkansas Game and Fish and other you know federal and state partners do a fantastic job of managing habitat on, on that 10% that is public, but you know, you're, you're only gonna make a difference on, on that 10% that's public. The commission is offering farmers financial incentives to prepare their land for wintering birds, nearly $100 for each acre devoted to the program. The Arkansas General Assembly set aside some funds, about three and a half million dollars, uh, uh, that are distributed in, in maximum $10,000 grants to these landowners who are willing to implement certain conservation practices that we've outlined on their property. The effort to expand conservation efforts is in large part a response to how changing agricultural practices have reduced the food available to migrating waterfowl. There's just a lot less waste grain left out on the ground these days. Uh, our harvesting equipment is much more efficient than it used to be, and that's great for farmers, uh, not as good for ducks. We also have early maturing varieties of rice that are being cut a lot earlier than they were 30, 40, 50 years ago. So all that adds up to less waste grain in the fields. Another issue that we've seen over the last uh, 10, 15 years especially is a lot more farmers tilling in the fall, uh, getting that field ready to plant a crop the next spring. As such, farmers participating in the programs flood their rice fields and leave them untilled so that as much waste grain as possible is left over for ducks and geese. According to Game and Fish, 127 landowners have signed up to implement flooded rice and wetland practices this year. So we basically tripled the amount of rice fields that are providing habitat in one fail swoop with this conservation incentive program this year. On your side, I'm Andrew Mobley.